Everybody, it's Tyler here at IRI checking in with Newton Division Champions 3184 Blaze Robotics. Also had a couple uh, regional wins as well this year. Imagery awarded championships. Very clearly, you can see why uh, for this team. Blazer Box, a team I've known for a long time coming out of Minnesota, uh, but this has definitely been one of the most fantastic gears they've ever had. Take a look. Their entire robot here will be talking about some of the functionalities. A couple really unique things within their extension, so keep an eye out for that as we cover more about this robot coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Will, let's start up on your robot, talking about your uh, shoulder joint and extension as well too. And uh, talk to me about what makes it so unique and some of the cool stuff that goes into it. Yeah, of course. We'll start up by moving it a little bit. This right here, for our extension, we actually use, we have an uh, inner tube with a bunch of holes in it, similar to a rack on a rack and pinion with a sprocket that meshes with it to actually power it in and out. So we always have complete control of where our, it is. We never are having to do with a gravity fed back in, stuff like that. So we always can move it how we want, where we want, and when we want. And then for our shoulder joint, we use a two, links, uh, two loops of 35 chain on a dead axle setup with a steel axle, so we never have to worry about our axle breaking or twisting or any of that. So it's, it's just always there and working because we, we basically wanted to build the most reliable, robust robot we could so we didn't have to deal with problems, breakages, just build it to work and build it to last. And I, I think we really achieved that between our shoulder joint after we, even in early in the season, had to iterate on two R35 chain. We started with two links of 25 and they weren't strong enough. We had problems with breakages in our early iterations. So building up to the 35, really, it just made it, we never had issues, no snaps, no breaks, never really broken down too hard on the field. It's worked wonders and helped us to do as well as we did. I, I love how quick that is too, and just seeing that, that come out, obviously attributing to how well your scoring has been for that. Uh, speaking about the server to your intake, Ethan's gonna cover more about that. And I'd uh, love to just hear uh, your composition of your intake. Uh, anything you wanna talk about and any iterations throughout the season too, Ethan? Yeah, so when we first started, we were originally looking at a grabber idea and we tried that out. However, we quickly realized we were struggling to actually hold it. And so we saw the EveryBot and thought, that's a great design, let's modify it for our robot. And so we started out originally with just solid polycarbonate plates, and it worked great for our first tournament. It was basically the exact EveryBot with um, just added mounting for this system. And then for our next tournament, we were thinking, okay, there are a couple things. We struggled to pick up cones, so we angled this a bit, and then we also want to save as much weight as possible so that we don't have difficulty moving the arm. And so we decided to pocket this. However, we we're concerned about the strength of the material. And so what we ended up doing was running finite element analysis on it. And so we calculated several different um, possible things that could happen in the match. So for example, getting hit on the very corner very hard. If we were hit super hard, we were comparing if it were solid versus if it weren't versus if it were just one plate versus the two plates connected. And so we were able with that to verify that this is indeed strong enough. And it definitely shows. This has lasted, I think, four tournaments now. And it, it's showing some signs of wear, but I'm honestly very impressed with how this is done so far. Yeah, you know, I was watching on the field, I watched your last match out there, you could just see uh, how well it was able to hold up to, I even saw a couple collisions out there and obviously working out uh, quite well for your team. Let's yep. start to wrap up. I'd love to hear about this little flipper mechanism you have down here uh, and anything uh, as well uh, from the LEDs or anything like that you want to cover as well too. Talk to me more about it. Yeah, so we added some LEDs at the beginning of the season uh, with the idea to use those to signal for like a cone or a cube. Ended up not using that because it made our robot brown. It, we had some issues with it. Sure. It broke our robot a lot sometimes. And uh, at our second tournament, uh, we also had a couple of elements get stuck in our in the bottom of our thing here. You wanna? So we built a flipper to just flip stuff out 
haven't had to use it yet, but it's there if we need it. No, I, lo I love that thought process behind it mm -hmm. and, and just trying to uh, prepare for any situation you've gone through. One thing I want to uh, wrap up and ask you here is this is, you know, for Blaze Robots, this is your best season you've ever had, uh, you know, in terms of robot performance. What is really attributed to that robot performance this year? What do you think has uh, put your team over the top? Number one, switching from tank to swerve. Huge difference. It's the first year we've ever played with swerve or used it. Yeah, I think the big contributor this year was a mixture of swerve drive and actual driver practice. In past years, we have struggled a lot with the driver practice being at the tournament on practice day. However, this year we actually had our robot done well before our tournaments and we're able to drive it and get used to it. And so we're going into the tournaments more prepared than we've ever been before. Well, Blazer Box, congratulations on a fantastic season. Uh, of course, good luck here at IRI, but we can't wait to see what you bring for future years as well. Thanks a lot for taking the time. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.